Thanks for staying with us. So we have with, with us on the phone Honorable Tolu Lokwe Akonde Shadipe. She's the honorable member who alleged gender harassment in the elevator yesterday. Good morning, madam. Are you there? Yes, I am. Good morning, everybody. Good, good morning. Good to have you on the show. So, obviously, we read your story in the papers this morning, and we'd just like to know exactly your take. What exactly happened? Yes, um, what happened? A very, very, yesterday was a very, very sad day for me. Very, very sad day. Um, because I never expected that kind of thing to happen within the walls of the National Assembly. If it can happen within the walls of the National Assembly, imagine what the woman out there is going through. I was in the elevator, and there were quite a few other people there because I was on my way to a meeting. So I was leaving the building. Um, there was um, other people there, and a particular gentleman who I was chatting with, who is a, a staff of National Assembly. Then I noticed that the man in front of me was too close to me because of the people in the elevator. So I made a statement to him. I said, please, don't step back. I don't think there was anything wrong in that statement. He now turned around at such close proximity to me in my face. And that was quite intimidating telling me basically that I had no right to tell him not to step back. I had my national identity, I mean, sorry, not national, my national assembly ID card, my identity card on me. So obviously, he knew who I was. And I said to him, I said, you behave very badly here. And I wonder, could you please tell me who you are? Because I was going to step up the case. You know, that I have so, 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 I'm so, at the time, I didn't catch the name because I was so intimidated. We stepped out of your elevator and I was so upset and I was walking towards the exit where I knew I would meet the security sergeant in us and bring the issue to their attention because I didn't feel safe. And then I ran into my colleague, the chairman of health, and I immediately told him that this is what this man has just done to me. At that point, they told me to apologize to me. The minister of health was there. He pulled me aside and said I should calm down because of my health. And then I continued. By then, the sergeant in hand was aware of what was going on and was walking down the corridor towards us. At that point, I told them again what this man did, and I said to them that I am going to cite formal charges about this. And I left the building. And I went to the... Honorable, so did he at any point touch you? No. He did not touch me. He was in my face. Okay. Right. And I needed to prevent him from stepping back. Because if he stepped back, what he meant is his body would be touching my body. Right. His back would be touching my front. And I thought that was intimidation. Right. right. And which was why I said, it could have happened in L, which was why I said, please don't step back. And I believe the fact that I said, please don't step back, right. should not have resulted in this. Right. If he did not have a mindset that a woman meant nothing. If I was a male member of the house, what happened yesterday would never have happened. All right, let me get a few I more questions in for you. Right. So, Mother, okay. Honorable mm -hmm. Ma, um, the man in question is the spe senior special assistant to the deputy senate president on, on print. His name is Jide Babalola. He says that he it was merely a case of bumping into you. That he had, uh, you, he said you had accused him of bumping into you, and he said to you, Madam. I didn't bump into you. This is me quoting him as he said, said it. Now, is, was this really a case of bumping into you? you take, did you take offense at being, as being, as, as being addressed as madam instead of honorable? That is not the case, madam. There is nothing wrong with addressing me as madam because I am a woman and you will address a woman as madam. And I do not even remember him using the word madam at all. And he did not bump into me. I prevented him from bumping into me, and that infuriated him that I had the audacity to tell him not to step back. Right. Okay. Um, Ma'am, you said All I said was, please don't step back. Right. Mm. And he challenged me. Right. And I said, because if you step back, your body will touch my body. Mm. I never want to use the word bump. Okay, we have with us um, gentleman, Mr. Jide Babalola. He is the the second party in mm -hmm. the elevator saga.
<laughs> in the thing that happened in the elevator. So he reached out to us because obviously we spoke to the honorable member earlier. Uh, Mr. Gide Babalala, are you there? Yes, I am. Very I, good. I I, hello? Yes, sir. Please go ahead. I was, I was driving, but I received several calls, and my fact, and you know, I'm just you know, taking this now. I, I really appreciate you know, your inviting me to uh, express my decision. You know. Thank you very much. So tell us, sir, what happened on that day exactly? Tell us like, your own side of the story. It was yesterday, quarter to 12. I left the office of, of the Honorable Member of the National Assembly. I told him that I need to go and pick my children somewhere. I was really in a hurry. Okay, normally I avoid crowded elevators, but the ones I was close to, I bought the I turned into the elevator. We were going downstairs from the first floor. So when we got to the, to, to the second floor, even though it was crowded, two or three more people came in. So, you know, making it necessary for us to shift a bit. I was very conscious of the space of the two women, you know, in the elevator with us. You know, I... I'm always very conscious of that anyway. So suddenly I just heard from behind me, sideways, you know, behind me. You know, so angry expressions of something like you're about to bump it to me, don't bump it to me and all that. And I was shocked, you know. And, you know, after, after hearing one or two more things, I just had to, you know, look at the person. And she said, uh, you know, she, she was not very angry, really, you know. I understand if there's any anxiety about that. If you try to ask me, okay, who are you? What, you know, what are you? What, you know, you're about to come to me and all that. But I, 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 I had to ask you that my kind of take it easy. You know, I didn't know that she, at that point, I did not know that she's the honorable mem member of the house. So I refer to her as madam. You know, which, which probably caused more anger. You know, so I said, madam, calm down. Nobody's bumping into you. And she was really angry, you know, I think, Okay, now, you know, who are you? I know that, you know, I, I responded. I said, that, Madam, who are you too? What is your name? You know, just the way she asked me. So by the time we got to the grass floor, there was, uh, there was some government government officials and honorable members coming. She approached them and, you know, she was really angry, so they tried to intervene. One of them asked me, okay, what happened? You know, and I explained very quickly. So... I was told by one Mr. of Mr. Babalala, let me ask you, at, at, at any point in time, did you apologize for being in her space? I did not invade her space. It was a crowded elevator, the public elevator in the House of Reps okay. that was meant for commoners like me. There was one specially meant for honorable members. I don't ever go to that one. But that one, there were nine of us in a, in a part in an elevator. And I never, you know, our body never touched. Today, to this moment, you never said that our body ever touched or anything. It was just from a warning of you know, somebody don't bump into me that everything started degenerating. I never right. experienced this sort of thing in my life. All right. All right. Thank you very much.